on like a pin board. I believe that was like the very first time I was here. They actually oh. had the physical. <laughs> I'm really, boards. really, really, truly sorry that I made fun of your leather face. Oh, dude, Bro, what the f- Look, the lights turned off the gear. What? Look, oh! Look, look at that. Bro, I saw that. Why did I say that? No way. Good fam, welcome back to another insane crazy video. I'm with my boy Omar Gosh TV. We are in Key West at the Fort East Motella Museum, home of Robert the Doll. It's my very first time being here, and uh, we're not even gonna waste any time. We're gonna just get right into this. So this is an actual fort. I want to see built in the early 1800s, maybe late 1700s even. But uh, you know, it was used to. Uh, protect our, our coastline here way way back in the day oh this is creepy and uh definitely stay to the very end because i have the craziest part coming up so i don't know too much about this i don't know if this was like the ammunition building i do know they have these little slits here and that's where they would put cannons um not on this side obviously but throughout the whole place you'll be, see things like that why can't we go in there is there any spirits here any ghosties we are going to do a spirit box session with robert the doll i'm excited for that i think omar's up oh jesus what the hell was that was that you scared me what's going up check out this spiral staircase let me go wide mode here for you guys this is cool bitch is a pretty good view up top here oh wow check this out oh and it keeps going what omar bro what the hell was that what in the hell was that? Oh, <laughs> literally the moment I get up here and there's nobody here. I think Omar is above us. What the hell was that? Yeah, there's nobody in here. What is this thing? I guess they call that art. Oh, look at the boobies. Hey, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Dude, what is up with this stuff? This is actually kind of cool. Wow, these are really cool actually. Could you imagine having these in your front yard? So I'm assuming that's like where cannons would have been. Oh wow, or maybe not. Maybe so, you never know. But we're gonna check out, do an investigation here. Super excited to show this place to you guys. I mean, I'm super excited just to be here, to be honest with you. About five years ago, my boy Omar came here and I was actually supposed to come with him. I went down to Miami with him. We were at the Be uh, Belmont Hotel, Biltmore Hotel. We stayed in the Al Capone suite. It was really crazy. He was actually on the movie Bad Boys. But we ended up, uh, they didn't like us filming there. Anyways, the next day, I ended up getting sick and had to go home early, which kind of stunk. So, dude, that's crazy. I wonder what that noise was, because I'm like listening and out for more stuff. Maybe that was like something in the wind or anything, but there's nobody here. Like, what was that for real? Wow. Because it wasn't Omar. I think Omar's upstairs. There he is. Oh. Oh, all right. Well, that was pretty cool. Whoa, what the hell was that, bro? Did 
Did you hear that? We just came from there. There was nobody in there. What so the I hell? I heard that same sound when I was downstairs. Uh huh. But I thought for sure it was it was James because he was on his way up. Right. So no. There's nobody. Omar wants to take me inside this little house. <laughs> Don't fart. No crop dusting, please. Uh, not yet. Actually, you can stand up. Oh, hey. I like it. Yeah. Bro, cool. So, supposedly some of these dolls move in the case at times. Like, people will come and, like, clean the glass, uh -huh. and they'll be moved a certain way, which makes no sense, because this is enclosed, unless the ground is moving or something. So, mm. yeah. What was that? It sounded like an acorn. Yeah. So I hit the building or something. Huh. Hi, dolls. Are you haunted? Pretty cool. Do you like your friend Robert? So people say that the reason why this entire museum is haunted uh -huh. is because of just Robert. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I feel like it's a mixture of a lot of... Th I mean, look at all the different relics that are here. There's a lot of different stuff. Bro, there is. It sounded <laughs> like... <laughs> It sounds like something is like walking on the right? roof right now. Weird. Okay, that's weird. Oh, I swear I just heard a laugh. Yeah, I heard that too. I mean, there's like nobody here right now. That's insane. I wish you couldn't hear the airplanes because you could probably hear a lot more. Probably, yeah. yeah. You know, one of my last videos, so somebody was like, well, this is just ridiculous. You get all freaked out and we can't even hear anything. I'm like, bro, the mic doesn't, like, if I'm wearing a mic too, like, I'm not now, but oh, yeah. sometimes the mic doesn't pick everything up, you know? Right. But if you, I mean, if you have it like that without the mic, you can pick more stuff up. Yeah, yeah. The you only can. drawback to that is, I mean, he's filming mm -hmm. on an iPhone. That doesn't have, like, a windscreen, so if it's windy and it has yeah. to be windy. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, let's get out of here. I'm out. We I'm out. out. Fuck! Ow. Ow! Ow! Oh, that shit hurt. Okay, you may want to go on a James uh, and just whack this head. Bro, I mean, you had to duck over there. Why not duck here? I, I thought I was ducking enough. I guess I didn't. Uh, no. <laughs> you know what? I didn't play enough duck, duck goose as a kid, I guess. Ah, damn, that really hurt. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right. <laughs> I wish I had a nickel for every time you hit your head on shit. Bro, <laughs> you ain't lying. I remember one time you laughed at me so hard for hitting oh my, my head. And then right after that, that was when we were at the devil's butthole. Yeah. When you hit your head right after that even harder. <laughs> I hey, was like, that's karma. Want to hear something really funny? So we were exploring something like in the woods one time. Mm -hmm. And I was walking between these two trees. And I seen this giant spider web. And like I ducked underneath it. James can't see very well. Wow. He was following right behind me. And I'm like... He's gonna totally yeah. like face plant into this yep. spider web. Yep. Guess who freaking did that? It was, but then I got my karma because I got some of that spider web a little bit later. <laughs> but like funny. he was like, ah! Uh, I no. I'm like, why video. did you warn me? Like Omar always warns me for stuff. He's like my C and I dog. You know, we call him my C and I Omar. And he, man, if it wasn't for this guy, I'd be dead. I guaranteed. With all those abandoned places we yeah. used to go to. I thought that was hilarious, though. But that was, uh, that was a good one. He thought it was funny. It there was wasn't funny. There was a spider in it, so I was looking for that. I wouldn't let you know oh, a spider. What a nice guy. Yeah. Maybe next time. Hashtag good guy Omar in the comments. And sometimes we'd be having those big ass, like, banana spiders. Yeah, yeah. In the middle of the spider webs. Right. And, I mean, imagine if you would have walked. Or a recluse or something. That. Yeah, that's scary. They're not venomous, though. The, the banana spiders? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I mean, they do bite, though. It's painful, but... Yeah, they don't. Yeah. Do they bite like this? Yeah. Watch out. <laughs> so, the last time that I was here, I did share this story. This is... Where is probably it? Probably the one story that put Key West on the map. Really? I'm going to turn the camera around. So, you see this guy right here? Carl Tanzler. Now, he moved to Key West, like, in the 1920s, a long time ago. He was an x-ray tech. Uh-huh. And this girl... There was young, he was 39 at the time, she was like in her 20s or whatever, came to see him for an x-ray and she had tuberculosis. Yeah. It was in, you know, TB was extremely, it oh, was yeah. bad. There, was, there was no cure for it back in those days. Well, this girl happened to be a girl that had been in his dreams for his whole life. What? And he said that he would not date a girl until he actually met this girl. What? Yes. Okay. So, of course, she uh, she's really sick. He feels bad for her. She goes back home after visiting him to, to get x-rays. He's showering her with expensive gifts. 
he's uh yeah it says here trying to treat her illness like doing whatever he can electro like therapy and stuff yeah they, that was big back then yeah a year later she ends up dying his heart was broken and oh. i'm not trying to um protect this guy at all because what he did next oh no will shock you oh no for several months he plans on grave robbing this girl and i mean it was a whole plan Wait, he wanted to get into her grave after she was buried he takes her body and after he takes her body, he has a wingless airplane, and he takes her body and starts trying to bring it back to life. What? And it, it was almost like a modern day Frankenstein. Oh my god! I actually feel horrible for him. Yeah, that poor guy. His heart may have been broken, but like, like it was messed up. Don't get me wrong, but he grave robbed this. It thing. was love, though. Yeah. No, it's messed up, but I mean, I can understand. Like he did it out of love. Yeah. Well, check this. The story gets a little weird. Oh no! Even more. Yeah, so he takes the body to, he makes like a whole laboratory. He has a wingless airplane, which I think was probably pretty cool. And he started Wait, what the, the heck is a wingless airplane? Like he had an airplane without wings and he made it like into a, I don't know if it was his apartment or. Oh, I got you. He had a laboratory right, in there right. and he was trying to bring her to life and started reconstructing her face with silk and plaster oh and, my god bro, could you was, have, oh it was bad he would sleep next to this body oh. had, like yeah who knows what else bro do you think he yeah do uh, think he did the dirt dirty I stuff I oh i god. would say so oh, no i, would, I mean oh. that's just, i'm just taking a guess bro. were they together for a while that like how long were they actually they once he together. found her they weren't ever together when did he find her though like uh he found her in the grave no no you said he was yeah. searching for her after he had that dream Here's but he never her, found her alive? Here's her headstone. And I'm going to explain oh, to you really? why that headstone is there here in a second. Wait, but did he ever find her alive? Well, yeah. She came to... He, she got x-rays from him. Like... Oh, okay. Yeah. I got you. But and then he didn't make his move or anything at that time? I don't know. He was trying to help her. He would go visit gotcha. her. Gotcha. He probably he thought he had plenty of time. Oh, gotcha. So he, he was visiting her at, his, at her parents' house. Mm -hmm. Was trying to do what he can to fix her, like tuberculosis but she ended up dying a, le a year later Poor so he didn't yeah. know her right but it was for like a year and she was sick the entire I got year. You. yeah you know what's crazy mm. she died on my daughter's birthday no way five days before halloween oh gosh months went by then he he took her body from the the tomb and the relatives thought that they were going to visit like their dead relative and she wasn't there you know how long for oh my god bro nine, years. nine years nine years nine years Nine what years. was it a bunch of bones at the end or no no he actually like preserved her body wow and wait, there's pictures online i'll actually show really them. here there is like a kind of crazy picture this body was on display at a funeral home locally for a little while and <laughs> then i don't know a lot of news outlets caught wind of this story key west was kind of like a like no one knew what key west was until this story came out like, yeah, actually, Key West locals were upset about this story because this was like a quiet little town. And once that happened, mm -hmm. like, tourism went crazy here in Key West. So, wow. yeah. Oh, you know where he's buried? Where? In Zephyr Hills. Oh, Florida. Yeah, wow. that's where he, well, I mean, you know, Central, like, where yeah. we're from. Well, we're on, not James, but. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. Paul Tinsler. And I hear his, like, cemetery or his grave yeah. is haunted. So, all right, let me rewind a little bit. After they reburied her, uh -huh. her like tomb or her mausoleum blew up like the next day, like blew literally up. physically blew up. So she's still buried there, but supposedly it's like an unmarked grave. They moved her because they were scared he was gonna grave rob her again. Oh wow, That's... crazy story, dude! What the hell is that? That I literally that sounded like a freaking voice, and bro, uh -huh. what's it outside? Bro, that didn't come from outside, bro. That came from inside, dude. No, there's nobody here, but what the hell? That was so cool. I hope my mic picked that up. But, bro, you know what's right there? That's Robert. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen anybody. Wow. Okay. Was that you, Robert? It sounded like a woman, though. Oh, my gosh. Most people say... Ask permission. I'm sweating right now. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know what it says. It says right up there. Remember, you need to ask Robert's permission before you take his photo. 
I only ask God for his permission. We did say a prayer before we came. Very important. In here in the fort. Just because we know God's stronger, if there's anything evil here, it can't attach to us. There's tons of photos here being displayed. That's crazy. Of people, look, I am sorry for not asking you if I could take your picture. Please forgive me. These are kids. Wow. You know, you could Spring Hill Marriott. That's that's crazy. There's tons of like um, notes that people have sent in. They used to have them on like a pin board. I believe mean, that was like the very first time I was here. They actually oh. had the physical. <laughs> I'm really, notes. really, really, truly sorry that I made fun of your leather face. Oh, dude, Bro, what the f Look, the lights turned off in here. What? Look, oh! Look at that. Bro, I saw that. right as I said that, no way. What did the hell? Did you get that on camera? I, 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 I'm sure, I mean, I didn't get that. I got it coming back on. All right. Holy crap, bro. As we're talking oh, about this. my heart this, is going bump, bump. All right, here. Dude. So, I'm gonna have to read that one again. I did kind of talk to Robert, but I didn't <laughs> ask him permission to take a photo. And here's why. The author of the book. No, I'm really nervous. I mean, the guy, his name's David Sloan. He does paranormal investigations here. Very educated man. I've talked to him in previous videos. I believe in the last video that I did here, I actually have a, a like, kind of, I used to tell on a class. Yeah. And, and he says, don't ask permission because you're giving it power. Exactly. By asking I agree with that. whatever it is, permission. <laughs> so, but I did tell him, hey, look, like God's the man. You know, you, yeah. you don't have any power over me. So that's, but I am going to be respectful. But I like your leather face, Robert. I'm just saying, I like it. And one thing I really like is that they have the doll pointing kind of up toward the ceiling. So like, it's not staring at you. Cause that's the one thing with Annabelle that I feel like I was like it's literally looking at, at Annabelle's eyes and she was looking at me when I got, you know, nauseous. And I'll show you that if you haven't seen that before. Um, but yeah, that's, that's crazy. Is. So in 2005, Robert the doll was 101 years old. Really? Yeah. Bro, do you know he was actually made by the Stife Company? And the Stife Company is very famous for the old teddy bears. Remember the old oh. teddy bears? Like the original teddy bears? No. Brown teddy bears. They had the little um, tag on the ear and stuff. I did a little research. And a lot of people don't know this. He was actually a clown. He was a clown. Wow. Yeah, it was a very rare, like, life-size clown doll. I wonder what the reason it was made for. Because I asked if there was, like, a Stipe made a lot of different bears and stuff like that. This wasn't mass-produced. This is, like, there one was of a, a few kind. Of there oh, there was a few. Was a yeah, few. Yeah, there was oh, a few of them produced. That's not what I heard. Okay. Yeah. It, not a lot, though. It was very rare. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. I wonder who has the other ones. I don't know. There is, a like, a rumor floating around that, like, a Haitian servant... Uh -huh. made the doll and gave it to Robert because doll, Robert was very disrespectful. Okay. And I mean, that's kind of like the rumor that, and she gave it to him to kind of huh. impress him and she like voodooed it. Yeah, I heard that a woman gave it to, to what was his name? Yeah. Something, Otto? Robert, his name was Robert. Also. Oh, okay. And he named the doll after him. Right, right. Robert Eugene Otto, he was called Gene. Like and, and she gave it to him because he was kind of like a little, little shit, right? He was a pest. Yeah. Wow, so, that's crazy. And then the story I got from the worker here is that he was given to them as a present from his grandparents. So I don't know um, what the true story is on that, but how do you feel? Actually, I feel okay. That's yeah. actually like you know what's funny though. Like I, I have, a, I feel a sadness, oh. like a heavy sadness in yeah. here. I don't know why though. I can connect on that. But... It, it doesn't make sense though. Why I feel sad here? It's not like you know a hospital where a lot of people died. This you is know. a civil war fort though. Yeah. People did die in here. I guess. All right, guys, so we're going to get ready to do a spirit box session right now. Very, very curious if we get anything interesting, and especially if it's anything that, you know, it, it is, has to do with, like, this place or him or something. Something that actually makes sense, you know, not just random things. So I'm curious. Also, you know, I thought he was an evil doll, just like Annabelle, like, very scary doll. A lot of people believe Robert the doll is the scariest doll, even more scarier than Annabelle. But I don't get that feeling here. Annabelle, 100% demonic. is as demonic as they come. But I don't feel that with him. But he may be more... Oh, dude, I don't know. Hey, you know what's crazy? Huh. So, I've had people that have watched my videos say that they got some bad luck from Robert the doll after just watching really my video 
So if you're at any point mentally that you feel that way, or I mean, maybe some real stuff is happening, like you know, yeah. just say a prayer. Okay, that's all you have to do. You don't have. To, I like that. You don't have to write Robert a letter. Okay, there's there's an address right there. It says right. What the to hell Robert. was that? That was loud. Did you hear that? Yeah, it was like a bang. Okay, one thing thinking. about this microphone that I'm wearing is it's not gonna pick up any ambient sound. It's gonna mainly just pick up like what's nearby. So that sound probably was not heard. I'm kind of bummed out about it. <laughs> so. I haven't done very many spirit box communications with Robert. Bro, I, I still think it's very smart for him to be pointed up because if he was looking you right in the face, I feel like I'd have a different feeling right now. Uh, just warning you, if you're very uh, sensible to these type of things, don't look right now because I'm going to put the camera right in his face. You know what you should try to do? Huh? You should try to look into Robert's eyes for like, I don't know, 30 seconds and see if you feel... Bro, probably pass out. Yeah, at least he hasn't thrown up. Like I'm actually. Glad yeah, that yeah, I haven't. No, I don't feel nauseous yeah. at all. The other place, hundred percent. But bro, just look. He's staring at him. Mm -hmm. I almost feel mesmerized right now. It's kind of weird. Just don't stare at him. Actually, that's kind of a bad idea. Whoa, that's freaking me out, bro. Oh, I literally, that was a really weird, I didn't think I was going to feel like that. I didn't like that. I didn't like it at all. I almost thought his face was like melting. So I'm going to use this app Like right it now. looked like that. Okay. It's a spirit talking app. And I have a link down below. Casket. Casket. He immediately said casket. I don't know if, I don't know if the mic picked it up, but it just said casket. Look. Right after you telling us that story of that girl that was no, dug up and no, stuff look too. What's behind us? There's a hearse. Oh, I didn't even realize that's what that was. It's an old hearse. Oh wow. Wow. Oh. First word that popped up there. Wow. All right, hey Robert, is there anything that you want to say to us or anybody that is watching this video right now? That was cool. Really cool. So this is one of the like spirit talker kind of? Yeah, very similar. I actually like it a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. See, I like walking around places with that because it's not like it doesn't say a lot. You know way. what I mean? It says way. Way. Yeah, like W A Y. Hmm. All right. One way. Oh. Way. I'm still tripping out over that voice way. that we heard. And like, you know, it's crazy that voice that we heard, bro. And like, you know, normally if you're at a place, oh, maybe it was a voice outside, but we're surrounded by freaking uh, brick walls. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that couldn't have been anybody. The only noises we're hearing here are like the fans. Yeah. There's, there's fans in the background. And a little music box playing. I don't know if the last time I was here, there's a sensor. Like, in case somebody, like, like that's how important really? Robert the Doll is. Like, there's a legit motion sensor. Bro, how much do you think, if they were to have to sell that doll, how much do you think? I think somebody, if I'm not mistaken, David had mentioned that somebody had offered, like, 250 or 500 grand for oh, it. Oh, wow. And they refused it. He's a priceless I believe it. piece of history. They actually have a doll in the uh, gift shop that's actually oh, a little bit cool. bigger than this. We're going to show you that doll. Yeah, and it's twenty four hundred dollars. It's like the same size, but I think it's it's just fatter. No, it's I think it's fatter, yeah, maybe it's definitely it's, bigger it's though. Wider. We'll go it's see wider. a little bit later. Yeah, and, and then the it. new Robert the dolls. Wrong. This is wrong. Oh, okay. Can you correct them? And I don't know. I mean, hey, maybe we'll we'll show you what it looks like. Robert, do you have a message for people that are going to be coming here to visit you? Is there anything you'd like them to know before they come? Just tell us through this spirit app, if you can. We know you're more pow you're powerful enough to do it, so. I actually feel like crap right now. Bro, I'm telling you, when you start staring at it, yeah. like, I didn't, I've looked at it a bunch of times and I don't feel anything bad, but when I stared at it for like 15, 20 seconds, I literally started feeling lightheaded, almost like sweating, panicky, I and I felt like his stomach. face was gonna like, oh my God, dude, it's, I can't even explain it. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Stare at it. Nah, that. Thanks for uh, asking me to do that, by the way. 
<laughs> I was just trolling. Him. Nah, I know, I know. Well, he knows I'll do anything, so that's crazy. It does take a little while for these spirit talker type apps to respond. Like I said, that is a great app to yeah. use if you're walking around. Yeah. Um, I think for something like this where you're trying to get answers right away, you know, there's better, there's other spirit boxes that be more consistent. But when I explore places, 100%, that's what I would use. It's fun to explore even. Though. Yeah, 100%. I'm going to actually turn the, the actual spirit box on. But yeah. I, I want to get one more response from because we've got some really good responses so far. This would be the last yeah. response you can give us, Robert. Make it a good one. Keep on feeling like something's over there behind us. I'll tell you what, ever since we started, like I opened up like this. Beverly? Beverly. Huh. Okay. You know, there's a Beverly watching our video right now that just freaked out. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. My name is Beverly. I want to, if your name Beverly is Beverly Horn. Beverly Horn's one of our fans. Oh. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Bro, what? Oh. What? No way! Right no way that just happened. Wait, that was everywhere. Wait, that was everywhere? All the lights did that? Oh, it said priority. I don't know. I mean, no it way. For that to happen. I don't know. Bro, that was cool. Wow. If, thank you, Robert. Don't thank him. I mean... Well, I mean... It, I'm thanking whatever spirits are here. Yeah. I don't know if it's... It could be more. Hey, tell us. Is there more than one spirit here? If there is, give us a number. Here, I'm gonna open up the actual. All right, bro. That was oh, that was insane. Dang. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been here, and if that has ever happened to you before. Cause that's twice now it's happened. All right, Robert. We're gonna be leaving, so we like you. So the spirits, so the spirits locked it too? Come on, bro. It's locked from the inside. Wait. No, it's not. Oh, it's not locked, but it's probably locked from the outside. What? Bro, no way the freaking wind closed both doors. Hey, Robert. Ooh, did you hear that? Are you playing some pranks on us? scared me so much. I remember if those lights turn off again, that means that it was Robert or whatever it is attached to Robert. I'll tell you what, man, I've never felt the way I felt being in here right now. Never. It, the mood changed, that's for sure. Yeah. Bro, let's turn that spirit box on real quick. Let's okay. see what comes through because I got a feeling there's, he's got something to say, don't you, Robert? You got something to say, Robert? We'd love to hear it. Was that you turning off the lights? You know what? I'm going to ask the lady at the front desk because uh -huh. they do have like oh, some they turned in or something. 100%. I have to ask. And yeah, I want to know too. I'm going to put the camera in her face too. <laughs> I'm going to ask for it first. It's a good, good see, idea. Uh, she'd be okay with sharing that. But um, I can't imagine. Well, see, the first time it turned off, it only turned off from here. The second time, all the electricity turned off. It was like this whole thing. And some of these lights are kind of. They're almost like pulsating when I see this. That's weird. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, because 
All of a sudden, I look like you got dimmer in here, but maybe it's just me. You ain't feeling good, are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm I, feel, feeling, I feel wrong, bro. I feel dizzy. Yeah, all of a sudden, bro, ever since that, when I heard that door, wow, that's insane. I cannot believe that happened. Hey, Robert, is there anything else that you want to share really cool, with bro. us before we leave here? I'd like to know how many spirits are in this building. I know you're here, Robert. Is it just one or is it more? Wait, did you turn it off? Oh, he turned it off. Oh, man. There was something here that said that a deer came out in front of them um, after they left. They fell down some stairs. It was literally just constant bad luck. Wow. Yeah. I think, because some people come in here and think it's a joke and they just make fun we of it. I'm sorry for taking your picture without permission. Please remove your curse. We get the <laughs> message. Please fix my eye, Xbox, and marriage. What? It will greatly... It will greatly appreciate, or greatly be appreciated. That's not a kid, bro. Lee and Deb. Wow. You know what's crazy, bro? Think about this. You have to have some really bad, crazy luck going on for you to actually have the balls to sit there and write an actual letter, mail it in here to go through that whole process. You yeah. must really be worried and really feel like you got cursed. I right, check this. Wow, that's insane. I should say, right to Robert and there's an address. Um, I am highly against this. Hopefully I will never have to do that. <laughs> but it's almost like an apology so the curse is lifted from them. Look at this, our flight was postponed, our second flight was postponed, our third flight. I'm sorry if I upset you and didn't follow your rules. Please stop cursing wow. me. Wait, I'm telling you, it's nonstop. Bro. So many, I'm sincerely sorry about how I didn't properly address you. I know things you're capable of. I wasn't aware that you could be in control of half the things you've done. And now I know that you are real and you have me fascinated with your ways. I hope this letter will let you forgive me. Like literally wow. asking forgiveness from one of these like crazy, that's such a- I have thing. never seen I anything like this. I apologize and let you know how this has affected my life. This is crazy. Wow. This is in Spanish. Um, saying that the person was like ignorant for you know doing whatever they did. Um, wow. I mean that there's no wonder like this doll many believe is the most haunted doll in the entire world. Yep. Like I know Annabelle is definitely the most evil doll in the world, hands down. He's I don't think Roberts is evil. Genius. Dude, I'm, I don't feel good, man. No, I don't either. Uh, like, I'm, like no I actually feel a little upset to my stomach too, my stomach and hurts. like I'm dizzy. Like yeah, my equilibrium is off. Like yeah, I feel dizzy. lightheaded. I didn't feel like this anytime I'm busy. I've been mm -mm. here like three times. Bro, I felt fine the whole time we were here, the whole time until that door slammed. This minute I started feeling like, like that. That's wild, bro. And you know what? That's the first time I've ever seen something actually happen in this room. Did you hear that? It was like a tap or something in here. Huh. Gosh, that is right, Robert, scary. You gonna turn those lights off for us again? This is your last chance. You're gonna turn those lights off for us. You need to do it soon because we are out of here. I mean, maybe, maybe it was a lady at the front. Maybe that. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. All right, All right Robert. You're not allowed to follow us home? You're not allowed to follow us home. You have no say-so. Lord Jesus, protect us. us. I do highly suggest that you leave your phone number and your email address in the comments. Lord Jesus, protect us. I do highly suggest that you guys... If you guys ever... Ever... <laughs> I'm trying to crop dust you. That was so disrespectful. At least it was out of the room with Robert the dog because he could have got at, upset. This light's doing it now too. All the lights are doing it. Huh. It's like having like a strobe effect. There's something up with the electricity here. Yeah, let's go ask the lady. I'm really curious. <sighs> I gotta go caca. I don't like right now. No, dude, me neither. No, I, I feel the same thing, bro. I know exactly what you're saying.
You stay there, Robert. But I do suggest if you guys do ever come visit any of these haunted dolls, say a prayer for protection. God definitely will protect you. Okay, so he that's is, see, he's way giant. bigger. He's way bigger. I, I I think he's way bigger. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger. He's got like a fatter head. He is fatter too. Yeah. Can we make fun of this one? <laughs> uh, I'm sure you can. Nah, I'm okay. Hey, check this out. Oh, look at this so snow globes. Bro. That is cool. Those are really neat. So, David, who runs this place, I believe he's the owner, he actually wrote a book. David Sloan. Oh, that's why David if you want to check it out, yeah. Nice guy. Tells you all about the history of Robert Adal and some of the crazy stories. It's awesome. Let's think about getting one of these guys right here. I'd make a good background for my uh, my my office that I'm building out for you guys. Oh, did you ask? All right, yeah. All right, so this is Susan. Can you come? Suzanne. Suzanne. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, right, let me do that again. Susan. All right. Oh, yeah. I read it. Really I'm gonna just keep recording. That's that's his mom's name. <laughs> Mama. Yeah, my mom's name is Susan. Okay, that's fine. That yeah. could right. be her name. Sorry. That's not your name. <laughs> Suzanne. Suzanne, come on, man. You can't easy. Oh, no, I was asking if, if, you be, if you're called that sometimes. No. Okay. <laughs> I like that. All right. But we have a question for you. Yeah. Okay, so in the room where Robert Dadal is, we were in there, and it didn't just happen once. This happened twice course. where the lights went off, completely off, and then two seconds went by, they went on, back on. And then maybe 10 minutes later, they went off, for this time, five or six seconds, and then back on. Was that you, or? It couldn't, it couldn't have been me. Um, okay. Only because the, the lights are controlled over there. Okay. And those lights actually never go out. Huh. So. And it's not like a dimmer or like a, what do they call those things that they, when you're not in the room, they turn off for a while? Right. Sensor, no, no sense, okay. Wow. Oh, you're right. True. Good point. Good point. Wow. So that means, have you yes. ever had anybody say that before? Has that happened to other people? The light going off? Nobody has mentioned that. Really? But, you know, I don't read all the letters and everything that, that come back, and it could have. Maybe it, you, know, you, he remembered you or something, Omar. Um, that's the like, first time. I've, I've been here, like, maybe four times, three or four times. I've never had those lights go off. Wow. On me like that. They're That's. Never, I mean, I I'm glad we asked you. During the day, uh -huh. you know, I I turn them on in the morning when I when I come in. Right. And I don't turn them off on, until the nighttime. And that's never happened. There's nobody else here right now, right? Just us. No, okay. Just us. Wow. Wow. That blows my mind. Well, thank and you so no much. No other lights. Uh huh. Like, I mean, nothing out here flickering. Hmm. You notice how there's flickering lights like in that hallway sometimes? It, well, right now it's doing it. It's like they're all strobing. Is that happening? That probably just the lights maybe, or? I, I don't know. That seemed more normal, like the, the lights no. turning off like that. When we first walked in there, yeah. when we were doing our walkthrough, only that one room was It wasn't strobing. like that, like when you came here before? No, never. Oh, wow. Never, never. Interesting. So That's definitely right. something is going on in there. For, sharing. for sure. For not messing with us. That's wild. So yeah, yeah, you thank you. Messing around with the, the no. lights or anything. I never go over here during the day. Okay. Or, yeah, we just wanted to make sure because that was really cool. <laughs> well, you know, I know she's telling the truth because only the lights, those turn off all the lights here. Mm -hmm. Only the lights where oh. the dog was turned off. Right. For a little bit. That's, oh, that's true. Yeah. That's so and weird. Then everything turned off after. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That was so neat. Would you suggest playing a Ouija board in front of Robert? Huh. I don't suggest playing a Ouija board yeah. ever. No, I, wouldn't. I wouldn't either. Hell I, no. I saw somebody do that and they had really bad luck after. In wow. fact, they lost their whole YouTube channel. No. Uh -huh. yeah. What? You know him. Who? Oh. Yeah. Wow. Remember you had that Disney incident? Like, he had a lot of bad stuff. Oh, oh, I know. JS, but, yeah. But he came here, he was a little disappointed. Yeah. Anyhow, guys, really appreciate you guys watching. If you get a chance to come down to Key West, make sure you check out Fort East Motella Museum. 
come visit Robert the Doll and let me know about what your experience is here. And if you've been here before, let me know, you know, if you had anything happen like we did or maybe you had something else happen. But appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you check out my boy Omar Gosh TV. And uh, we're off for another adventure. Until next time, fam. Love you. Peace. James, Omar, Robert the Doll, we out.